This video is sponsored by Lord of the Rings Rise to War. Can I turn this violin into a guitar? I'm curious because I recently saw this video where a violinist put stick-on frets on her violin and I wanted to see what actual frets would sound and feel like, so I called my friends who make instruments to ask if they could help me out. You want to do what? I think this is doable. It's going to be some serious problem solving along the way. The thing you're going to run into is the scale length is so much shorter on a violin. Ooh, that's kind of small. Yikes. You're going to need to have a really nice fingerboard. The other thing is actually installing the frets. There's a significant amount of force that goes into it. So crushing that concave scoop out on the underside of it is something I'd be concerned about too. My biggest concern, I guess, is that there's going to be some warping after the fingerboard goes back on. You know, <laughs> I'm putting frets on a violin. I am not above doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. I'll let you go and uh, we'll just be in touch. Here I am wondering if Jordan's going to break my violin in this whole process. Hey. Hey, you want in? Thanks. How you doing, man? Good, good to see you. Good, good to see you. Uh, hey, puppy. What the dog doing? Okay, so here's the fret wire that normally they use for guitars. Uh -huh. What do you think of this? Is that gonna work? I'm not the person to ask about that. <laughs> if your guitar guy says it's gonna work, I bet it's gonna work. Okay, our guitar guy said it's gonna work, so why don't we head into the shop and get started? Jordan's brutal honesty did not help with my nervousness. I've never done this, Rob. Okay. I'm gonna need to resurface the fingerboard, take the fingerboard off. I'm gonna take that to my CNC machine and cut slots in it for the fret wire. I'm gonna bring it back, learn how to install frets, and uh, put it all back together. Okay. So what is this? Why are you doing this? I'm. I'm making a nice surface. Now something I was worried about is the buzzing of the strings if the frets aren't perfectly level. But that's why he's gonna be planing this out, making it nice and even, keeping a little bit of scoop so it still plays like a violin. Jordan's been making violins since he was 15, you guys. Over 10 years, but he's never made a guitar. See, I'm helping put frets on. <laughs> no, you're not, Rob. <laughs> the glue used on this fingerboard is extremely strong, so Jordan is having to separate it at multiple points to take it off without breaking. Oh, the iron. <laughs> okay. You gotta heat it up, try to melt the glue. Oh, there it is. Now that Jordan was able to iron the fingerboard off, he's got to use this machine to cut spaces for the frets to lay in. This looks like a Mark Rowe. Wow. Tiny. Yeah. Cool. It was at this point I wondered if this was a good idea. You see, I've got to play a song at the end of this video for our sponsor. Will it sound amazing or terrible? The slots were cut successfully, but getting the frets to stay in those slots is another story. Ebony is fairly real ebony, but still. Right, right. His tools are breaking. As you know, Jordan doesn't normally put frets on violins, but his handcrafted instruments are incredible. In fact, a few years ago when I played on his violin, I started getting emotional because it was so easy to play and gave me an amazing sound. Listen. Jordan had to carve out a block so that when he pounds the frets, they'd receive equal force across the entire wire. You can tell Jordan was born to be a craftsman. I mean, look at those thumbs. He's probably never lost a game of thumb war in his life. This fret wire might be bigger than you want. I'll make it work. Yeah. It's just gonna take a lot of troubleshooting. Yeah, yeah. All right, he's working hard on this. We're gonna give him some time, come back, pick it up. Hopefully, he's got it done. I hope we can make this happen. Okay, it's been three weeks. The fingerboard actually ended up getting shredded, which is why it took a little longer. But he says it's finished. Let's check it out.
So tell me what happened. You said that the fingerboard shredded. The frets started unbending after everything was pressed in. Um, so I left it overnight and they had all pulled up at the ends of the frets and it just pulled the you know, chunks of ebony up along the ends. I think it looks great. I mean, obviously, work. you know, we don't have these up here, but I mean, no. the frets would have been so close anyway. I'm gonna take it home. We're gonna shoot a music video with it so you can see how this compares to a traditional violin without frets. So let's get this home, shoot the music video, which you are about to watch now. So three things I noticed about this fretted violin. One, when I shifted, these frets were really uncomfortable, and that's probably because I'm used to hanging my arm weight into the fingerboard when I shift around, but you can't do that with frets like this. It just feels like a bunch of speed bumps on there getting in my way. Two, I had to vibrate a lot more to make sure that it was noticeable because of the frets that normally stop that type of sound. It's a quick fix, so I'm sure I could get used to it. Three, I noticed the tone changed a lot more than I expected it to. It was almost like it was coming out of a radio from the 50s or an old Fender guitar amp. And by the way, playing it like a guitar made it way easier for me to get my notes in tune, so I love that part. So comment below and let me know what you thought of me trying to turn this violin into a guitar. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, The Lord of the Rings Rise to War, which is a strategy mobile game that has launched, which I think is really fun, especially if you're a Lord of the Rings fan like I am. Based on Middle-earth lore, you can choose from 10 factions, select your favorite commanders, and lead your own armies to expand your territory. Now you can play the game with people all around the world, so join the fellowship I created called The Mighty Fiddlers, and maybe we'll play together. Support my channel and download the game for free now in the App Store and the Google Play Store using the links in the video description below.